all the blood within me. This is short story number five in the collection of short stories by uh, the Messiah, uh, the Zen master, uh, uh, Magister Ludi, <laughs> uh, uh, Kingsley Amis. Uh, uh, phenomena, really. Um, I'm with book. 16 or so, I guess. And it's, it's, it's a thrill. Um, and um, a joy to read. So there has been, there have been three military, so to say, short stories uh, based on the experience um, Kingsley Emmys was had in the army. He was uh, assigned to uh, signals unit in Belgium. The action takes place in Belgium in those three. And we see some of the absurdity associated with, uh, with, with the army. Uh, some of them we find in let's have a war, a war here to, in, in the memoirs. <clears throat> For instance, I remember this general who abused his position uh, and uh, although we were talking war and um, vital communication and, and people uh, doing things um, under fire and danger, he would send men for his own private uh, um, ridiculous needs and that's we find in those uh, short stories uh, he's calling because he wants a man to go to brussels supposedly for a fisher business but it's not it, it's just taking his dirty laundry to brussels and bringing back whatever his man in brussels uh, will have found um, cigars wines so appalling uh, <laughs> In my enemy's enemy, the first one, uh, you have uh, 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 an inspection that is supposed to send the man uh, off, uh, potentially to the Far East to fight uh, there, because Japan, even with the end of the war in Europe, Japan was still fighting, not for long, until the dropping of the two atomic bombs and Nagasaki, still. Then you have Court of Inquiry, where Major Riley, uh, <laughs> such idiots and uh, assholes, uh, uh, is organizing a Court of Inquiry, the title of the second short story, is, as a short story, because he wants um, to send off Archer. Uh, why? To make a point, but such a preposterous one. Yeah. Archer has left. Uh, an engine behind. <laughs> he makes a put on a show, an act on, uh, on, 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 on this court of inquiry. Oh, I forgot it. I don't know what to say. It's such an embarrassment. I don't know. Uh, I apologize. And, uh, you helped me so much, which is I mean, Major Riley never helped. Uh, if he had done so, they wouldn't be there. I mean, and the engine is useless, has no spare parts. And with the technical unit, they have one spare, spare parts, and all, but still. You know. <laughs> then we have in uh, I Spy Strangers a mock poem where the extreme views are aired. Uh, oh, if we had Hitler now to fight the Russians and Ruskies, uh, which is extreme, then we have on the other hand. On the other, the, the friends of the Soviets, that's also terrifying. Fourth is not military anymore, uh, moral fiber. But then we have a, a, a social worker in moral fiber, who is in fact the, the villain, uh, boasting she helps this girl so much, for her girl Betty. When Betty is in flow, is in <laughs> in the zone, 
maximum joy as a, as a follow woman when she joined the business girl business prostitutes as they were called because she's going out with sailors and then she's free she has the time of her life brought back into the fold she's unhappy she's uh, bored she's uh, not living anymore so that's this paradox in me. And to say a few words about what was I talking about? What was I supposed to say? <laughs> a few words on uh, all the blonde within me. Uh, this is uh, much sadder. Um, the others and uh, Kingsley Ennis is a master of irony and humor, hilarious passages. This one is sadder. We have uh, a woman who has died. Uh, Alec, the man who has loved her, is 64 now, and he's going to a funeral, and um, he's looking back. Uh, we find that the woman was, uh, in fact, uh, you know, sort of racist, really, uh, and they had this strange love in which uh, it was not even mentioned, never mind do something about it. So, a bit of a bad, a sad story here.